Forgive me for bothering you, miss. You're not bothering me, Mr. Parker. Oh, there's no need to look so surprised. Ilsmouth is such a small town, and news travels fast. I'm Gloria Tilton. I'm very glad to meet you, Miss Tilton. I can't help wondering how an attractive young lady can be. How do you do, Miss Tilton? Miss Tilton, I am a desperate man. I rarely must find some photosensitive plates. You take photographs? Why, that's wonderful. I'll show you to Myers. He's bound to have what you need. He sells everything. Oh, you won't tell my Aunt Peacott about this, will you? She thinks photography's for flibberty gibbets. Really? Well, I'd be very glad of your most agreeable company. Please, Mr. Parker, call me Gloria. You're there? I have to go. My aunt's waiting for me. Be with you right away, sir. No problem, Mr. Hamilton. I'll be delivered tonight. Oh, I spoke to Miss Gilchrist. She got your package. Can I help you, sir? I'd like some photosensitive plates, please. Well, just hold on a few seconds while I check to see if I have any. You're a lucky man! Well, they do say if anybody sells it, Meyer does. I got two boxes left. There's one. Ten dollars for three plates. I'll take them. My advice to you is to try them first. Well, I've had them for quite a while, so they aren't exactly brand new. Oh, really? That's a fact. Daytime? Night? Outside? Inside? What is it you're wanting to photograph? Oh, a few views of this lovely area. The stars in the night sky. Well, you be careful. The emulsion's kind of old. Tell you what, you take a few shots of whatever you want to photograph and see what sort of results you get. If those plates aren't perfect, I'll give you your money back. And if they're okay, well, you can go back and buy some more. I'll take your advice. Very odd indeed. Mr. Hamilton? Curtis Hamilton? 76 years ago, a British scientist, Lord Boliskin. Don't mention that name to me. Bad luck and trouble. I led him around for three nights. I carried the torch, the rifle, and I saw the... the thing. What thing? I wish I didn't remember. He'd drawn a map. I took him to the cross. I don't mind telling you, I was scared. Later on, I refused to go with my father to pray to the stones. So my father threw me out. My brother Wilbur cursed me. And now I live in squalid conditions. Where did you take Boliskin? I'll give you money if... Where did you take Boliskin? Get away from this region, mister. The comet's coming back. It'll be here in three nights, and that thing's coming too. 
Wilbur said so. So just get away from Illsmith while you've got time. Why? If you saw what I saw. It was on the third night, in the forest near the Calvary. The English guy was drawing. Then the thing appeared. I'd pay any price to forget what I saw. Now get lost. Shoo! Find somewhere else to mess up. Say, Mr. Parker, Mr. Arlington, the mayor, told me about you. Welcome to Ilsmouth. I'm Sergeant Baggs from the local police. Glad to meet you. I'm looking for a cross. Maybe you should try the cemetery. We call it the dead center of town. <laughs> you get it? I'm looking for a calvary in the forest. I can't help you there, and I don't advise you to wander in the forest by yourself. It's easy to get lost in that forest. I wouldn't even go there with a map. Now, if you'll excuse me, uh, duty calls. I've got to run those layabouts out of town towards the clearing in the woods. What have they done? They're gypsies, Mr. Parker. Sneakiest chicken thieves you ever saw. I'm not going to wait for them to strip the town bare, no sir. They're out of here. Surely they have some rights. I decide who has rights around here, Mr. Parker. And no stranger is going to tell me how to do my job. You stick to your science. I won't trouble you again. But come now. Mr. Parker, just read my lips. Stay out of my way. Thank you, sir. Hey, you. The fortune teller. Just shut up, okay? Now, you bunch of grease balls, I want you out of my town, and I mean now. Mr. Parker, adieu. On the butt. L.B. Incredible. Jug has Boniskin's rifle. Oh, there's a message engraved in the gun. Dash it all. It's too small to read. If only I had a magnifying glass. It's badly written. Ah. Searcher. E. S. T. The rest has been rubbed away. Searcher. Suzanne Searcher, probably. Strange. Those names are not mentioned in Boliskin's notebooks. These butterflies really are magnificent. Am I bothering you? Not at all. Indeed, to be frank, I can't get our last conversation off my mind. I see. And? Well, it could be irrelevant. Have you found something? Not yet. But I hope to shed light on a few interesting facts. We'll discuss them later on. Mr. Jug? Later, Mr. Parker. It's too early for the moment.
A strange message written by Boliskin. E. S. T. The rest has been rubbed out. My information points to a Calvary deep in the forest. I must learn its precise position on my map. A strange... Dr. Cobble has good taste, I must say.